Okay, you may not know this, but I am a bee nut. I love bees. So I made this set of bee tags that's free on my website. The way I got these printed was at the UPS store. Look how beautiful that is. It's just so pretty. Um, and I got it printed there because it was so much cheaper than trying to do it on my home computer because I'm not a good printer. It was just too much for me. So I just wanted to show them to you all together and I'm gonna be cutting them apart and we'll make a project with them. Okie dokie, look how clean I reorganized my craft room this morning. And it turned out amazing. Except now I have a stuffy nose, so sorry about the stuffy nose. So today we're gonna be using my B printables. And these are available for free in my freebie library. You just print them out. I take them to the um I take them to the uh, UPS or I send them to the UPS store around the corner. You could print them on your home printer if you wanted. So this feels done. This feels done. I want to do some more on this, but like as far as pages go being done. Okay, we need to do this one. So we have this one, this one. That feels done. This does not feel done. Oops, let's make sure we have it this way. I think I can live with this one and this does not feel done. So I don't know if we can get four out of here. Maybe we, uh, this one, nope. This one is a little fat bumblebee. We're gonna cut him out and he's gonna be a bumblebee. Or maybe we'll just leave him on there and we'll make him a bumblebee. Okay. Oh, I wanted to, Never mind. I lied. I have to find one of these that I can do. It's gonna have to be this one. Even if it goes together cute. I want to do a flip out tag with this. So those guys are gonna go together. So this is gonna be a flip out tag. Ooh, let's do, we could do black on here. We got black on here. Ooh, I kinda want those guys to go together. So we're gonna do them together. I feel like he goes with these guys. Not so happy, bright, cheerful. All right, so let's see about this one. I kind of feel like pretty pink. This can go with that one. Actually, that's pretty with that, but there's not much contrast. But it could go in there. He goes with these guys. This one goes with these guys. This one goes with these guys. We could do purple and pink over here. Cute, pretty. I'm just trying to sort them into kind of where they might go together. Cute, pretty. Blue, blue. This one could go either here or here. This guy goes over here. These guys go over here. And that guy goes over here. Okay, so this is kind of what we're gonna do. If we wanna do some circles, we can do them out of there. Um, all right, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna hook this tag to this page, but I wanna do it in a sneaky secret way. I'm gonna put that with there. Actually, I could put that with here. All right. Boop. So, this goes with the Day of the Dead. Boop. So, what we're gonna do is we are going to get our black tape
And we are gonna tape this on about halfway, All right? So we're gonna go over this whole thing, see if it lines up pretty good. It looks like it does. And then we're gonna hook this, nope, I want this to be the top one. So then I'm gonna hook this one on here with a little gap, not a huge gap, but just a little gap so you can turn it. Okay, and that's gonna work good. We don't wanna stick that down because that's gonna be what lets us turn it. Gonna cut this out. So now we have this tag that comes in like this, and we are going to glue this one to this one, and then you won't be able to see the hinge at all. It just looks like a secret tag. How cool is that? I know, sometimes I even amaze myself. There we go. We just make a little sandwich of that. And they don't fit quite perfectly. You can see a little overlap there. And I'm trying to get this side done perfectly without getting too much glue on there. And then we're just gonna flip this up and cut this right down here. Perfect. Yay, us. So now we're going to do this as a B page. We got our extra flippy B ticket. I'm going to cut some things out and I will have all these figured out when I come back. Uh-oh, mouse is still here. Okay, today is going to be a fun day. We're going to work on the B pages and I have four of them here in the black journal. And then I kind of feel like the black journal is going to be wrapped up, but let's see what we have. I've pulled out a bunch of stuff that I can use on these pages. So let's start with this one. Holy crap. How much B stuff did I think I could use on one page? Okay, so we have this. Ooh, I kind of love, isn't it funny when I love my own stuff? But I do, I do love it. I love how that comes around. So I'm gonna cut that out. And I cut up my tags all the time because I'm using them as tags, but I'm also using them as fun graphic details in my artwork. And so today we're gonna cut off the tag part of this. Oh, Johnny just shut his door. He doesn't want to hear about B tags. He's some kind of a anarchist. Obviously, B tags are the funnest thing that could happen today. I don't know if I told you this because it's been a hot minute since I've um, recorded the first part of this video, but these are free B tags. Oh, you know what we're going to do? <gasps> we're going to make this a tuck spot. Okay, do you know what a tuck spot is? You may or may not. A tuck spot is where you can tuck something in. So we're only going to, well, we're gonna do a little bit of um, uh, making that a little bit grungier first. It's been so long since I've looked at this stuff that this is kind of like, look, such fun things. We've had a long week. Poor Kitty. Kitty who yelled isn't with us anymore. Um, she was 18 or 19 years old and she just went downhill fast. So we let her go, um, which sometimes is the hardest thing, right? Let's, 
Let's make this whole side. I'm not gonna cut every little detail. But sometimes with your pets who you love, letting them go when they're ready to go is the hardest thing, right? So, and I've been editing my videos and kitties in them because she talked to me all the time. Now we still have, we still have two kitties. We have um, Betty, who is mostly feral. She, she came from um, Colorado with us and she's a white fluffy kitty. I'll show you a picture of her. And she's really derpy, like, She's seriously derpy because she's um, so nervous about everything that she just freaks out. But she's gotten a lot better. It's only taken like five years. She's, we don't judge. We don't judge around here. If it takes you five years to be less derpy, that's how long it takes. But she's really turning into a love bug. And then we have my mom's cat who really doesn't like me. I think she thinks I'm her mom's servant because um, I do all the things for mom because she has dementia. And I think the cat thinks I'm her mother's servant. So she's like, mortal people, you take care of kitty and mom. <laughs> so it would not surprise me if that was Elsa's idea of my place in the world all right so that's cute i don't love what's going on here so let's see can we do something up there i could put that right there oh could i put this right here oh look it's like he's on a little bee farm i don't know i kind of love that though okay this is just a bee tag. Okay, I gotta do something there first. Okay, I have this little piece of green stuff. Ooh, I love that. Okay, so we're gonna put a piece of green stuff on there. Just this second. And I'm gonna try using this glue. I haven't used this glue. I have Mod Podge, but somebody said I should use Nori. So I'm trying Nori out. I used it for something else and I was pleased with it. So let's see how it goes for sticking on something like this. I'm always in the market for a new glue. <laughs> well, it sticks it on very well. Can I just say that? Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, I covered up a wee bit of something I didn't like. What would it look like if we flipped this over? Oh, that would look cute too. So you always wanna look and see what's on the back and see if you can do something cute on the back side. Cause I have found, look, that just looks perfect there. That the way you make um, mixed media is you just put layer upon layer upon layer of things. That's your job. Okay, so what do we have? We have a tag that we could kind of, do we want to put a couple this way? I kind of do. This is my, one of my favorite bees. Look at his little fat tummy. Okay, we're gonna make this a tag. Just cutting off the corners and we will, I'm waiting for that nori to dry. Okay, and we're gonna get our chomper. go Boop. and then we have our grommets because let's do this one too we're going to make both of these tags we're going to put a little watch your fingers because i have squished my fingers and it hurts um we are going to put a little fun ribbon on these oh i need that I was like, why is there a jar here? No, oh, because I need it. All right, so we got two grommets. I kind of feel like embossing or grommets are the answer to everything. And 
This is a crocodile, and when I first got it, I thought it would be really hard to make grommets and put stuff in, and I watched a bunch of YouTube videos, and it all seemed really confusing. But then once I got it and I started making them, it's just super, super easy. Oops. <laughs> Why? Why would I ever say something like that before I finished it? But it really is super easy. There we go. Okay, so we'll probably keep this. Oh, look, that's where the other magnet went. I was missing one. Okay, so these guys are going to kind of tuck in there. So what could we add to them? Oh, see, I like that a lot. I don't like this now, but luckily we have some more of this. I think maybe we need a lot less of the nori than we used of the Mod Podge, which would be delightful. There we go. Oh, that feels a lot better. That doesn't feel so... Oh, it's almost dry. It's fine. Okay. So let's think about this. We've got this. We Okay, so number one, I need to rough this up. So I need my paper. What did they call it? Paper distressor. I call it the scritchy tool or the paper rougher tool. But it just makes your papers look a little bit less beautiful. Like they've been kicking around a little bit. Okay. And now we need our, I seen it just a minute ago, my box of ephemera. Ephemera. Okay, so I need a couple little things to go on here. How about a stamp? That's their stamp. I made a bunch of stamps too. Maybe we'll find one of mine in here. Maybe a ticket. Oh, that's a pretty color for a ticket. I made that ticket. I'm hoping eventually one day most of my ephemeral will be stuff I made. Oh, here's one I made. That's pretty. That's very pretty. It's very pretty, she says, of her own work. It's okay. What about that? That's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. I just got... Where did I put it? I just got a whole bunch of Tim Holtz ephemera. I'll have to figure out where I put it. But I put it in a little tin so it wouldn't all get lost because it's tiny. Um, oh, look, a flower. A flower's good for bees. Okay, so we just got a couple little things to start layering some stuff up here. Okay, this is going to go on here somewhere. I like those numbers. I don't want to cover my bees totally. So maybe there. Okay, let's rough this up. Maybe we'll... I don't want so much on there, so maybe we'll... Tear it like it got a little ripped up. Yep, I like that much better. Do we want the tear on the outside? Kind of, yes. Okay, we're going to tear the whole way. Now, the way you tear matters how much of that stuff you're going to have. If you tear up, you're going to have more, um, more white showing. If you tear down, you wouldn't have any white showing. Eek. Okay, there we go. So let's get the brown out. And I'm going to vintage this. So I'm going to use brown instead of black. There we go. Put a little, just kind of old look to it, right? And this is archival. So this is um, not going to move. Because I do so many layers, I like to use a permanent ink. So this is a permanent ink where some of the distress is um, water soluble. Okay. All right, I think I want a little bit of, see how that really messed that up? I like that.
There we go. I'm just going to staple this. I don't need to... Do I have a tiny attacher? I know I have a tiny attacher. I don't know where it is. I have a... Oh, I see it! I have a little bitty stapler. So... The nice thing about a little bitty stapler is you don't got to wait for things to dry. So I'm going to do a little bit down there, a little bit down there, and then we'll cover that with something. Um, okay, so how is this looking? Well, that's looking cute, like we got something going, huh? And he is the, uh, he's the king bee, queen bee, little fat bumble. You may not know this, but the only tattoo I have is of a bee. The bees are my peeps. Okay, so there we go. That's cute. We're getting somewhere. Do we want our tag to be up here? Huh, kind of like that. So we have a stamp and a tag and a stamp. Well, I kind of like these two together, don't you? Okay, we could put them down there. We could put it up here. Okay. That's, I don't think it goes up there. I think it takes away from them. Does this go on him? No. So I almost feel like it's got to go down here. And part of the problem is it's the brightest thing on... Oops. We need brown. It's the brightest thing by far on this page. We got to get this darkened up a little bit so that it isn't so in your face. There we go. That feels a little bit better. Okay, let's, uh, we're going to try our Nori. This seems like something a little, okay, here we go. Right down there in that corner. And glue works by adhesive and pressure. So we need both of those. Let's turn it a little bit. There we go. And then let's do a little stamp. I made this stamp. There's a video about it. Okay, here we go. Just a little bit of interest over there. Cute. I like what we got going. I feel like we need something on this one. Do we need a half a stamp? I don't want to go over the big fat bumble. All right, we'll do that. So this is what I do a lot of the time. I'm going to put a stamp. First off, I'm going to put it down and then slide it over and that will spread the glue the whole way over, okay? Now, we're gonna cut this stamp off like this, right? So we, now we have a fun little stamp right here. We gotta give it a second to dry before we can distress it. But now we have another half a stamp. We're gonna use that to cover part of this down there, look how cute that is. Okay, there we go. That is fun. And that's already a vintage stamp, so we don't have to vintage it up. All right, so I'm gonna put Tina, teeny. <laughs> I think I want a little something. I feel like we're missing something. I kind of want something to go across here. So it could be, let's, let's see what we have that's long enough to go across there. How about this? Uh, it's October people and I swear stuff keeps moving around in my craft room. 
I was recording with my friend Rebecca earlier, and literally things just started moving. So if you see a ghost, well, we know my mom lives with us, and she's been dead since I was 30. So, and Desi, who we all love, knows she's in her room, so she's fine with it. Okay, I have one called Vintage Pearl or something like that. Nope. All right, let's let's do gold because that's what I got my hands on first. Ooh, it's stuck to the nori, but that's fine. Okay, so if we're gonna do gold, I kind of feel like I want something here too then. Not that, but not that. Okay, boop, boop, boop. Ooh, words, so some words. And I'm not even gonna put this on a stamp, I'm just gonna get this. And I just want a little bit of words here and maybe a little bit of words over here. Okay. And I don't want to show off too much, but look at my stamps. Now I'm using them so much more because I put them all on acrylic blocks and then all my um, dies are on the back. I know, I know, I'm just showing off. If you want to hear about my stamp storage system, let me know. And I'll do a video about that. Look at how cute. Oh, now, no. Now I feel like I want to. Okay. One of the gals, I think it was Joanna Banana, said, put a piece of washi tape on the bad one. She's brilliant. If it was you and not Joanna Banana, let me know. But we're putting a piece of washi tape on the bad one so that we know which one it is and we can just grab the good one. How smart is that? I thought that was brilliant. Okay. So now we're gonna make our bee nice and gold and we're gonna make some of his bee house. It's not a bee house, beehive. Okay, let's see what that looks like. We can always do more. Okay, let's emboss and we'll see how we like it. I feel like my my craft space is creeping in. We gotta move it out a titch. All right, here we go. Okay, so there's that one. And I have to tell you, I feel like gold embossing makes everything in the world more wonderful. So there's that one. I'll put some ribbons in it. And you'll see it when the when we finish up the journal. All right. Next, next. This open nori makes me nervous. It's very large. Next bee tag. Let's see what we got. No, oh, we got all kinds of fun stuff. Ooh, that's pretty. All right. Oh, so this is a purple and a pink one. Okay, so we have a um, Brad coming through from the other side, so we're going to want to cover that up, but that's no bother. We can do that easily. Okay, I think those look pretty there. Let's get a something going on with this. Oh, that goes up there. Perfect. That goes up there. Perfect. Okay, let's get, again, the bees we're doing, um, like old looking rather than dirty looking. So we're using brown. I think that old looks brown and dirty looks black. So we're just doing old and I did um, already got some goods on this one. Sometimes when I don't feel creative, I just sit down and I make all my ephemera look disgusting, which makes me happy. Okay, stick that on there. Looks cute. All right, we need a grommet there. 
good thing we didn't put our grommets away. Do we want, ooh, look, I got a copper one and we got copper right there. Kismet, pretty. That looks nice. Okay, now we got some stuff. Okay, this I feel I could go over with our, we've already used that. I kind of love this little tag. Do we want to make kind of a, um, just like a cute look there? Do we want it to be a tuck? Now that I see him up there, I kind of like him up there. And then do we do this guy down here? Like that. Okay, I think this is throwing me off because it's too pretty. I need this to look like it's been in somebody's pocket for a while. Okay, that's better. Yeah. Ooh, I kind of feel like that could almost tuck in there. And then we've got some of this to go over it. I kind of like that. Okay, let's rough this up a teeny bit. This isn't like in somebody's pocket. This is just not so brand new paper. We'll just do a little, not much. Just knock a little bit of it back. And I don't always vintage everything up, but this is kind of on that black journal page. I kind of like to have it be, all right, I wanna see some of those. Oh, this could go right across to the other side. There we go. I feel like I need to dirty that up a little bit. There we go. Eventually, I might put a ribbon in there. I don't know. Ooh, I think this part looks amazing. I love what's going on there. Let's do a little piece of... Okay, so we definitely do not want a straight line on this. Can we do... Oh, that looks good. Just to bridge that. Okay. I'll go back to the Nori, but for this, I just feel a little bit more comfortable using my Mod Podge. I know how much to put on. I know how to make it work. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with my silicone brush. I just need to peel off the old glue. Okay, so that's cute. I like what we got going on up there. You know what I'm gonna do? I have a fun new tool. We have black. Okay, I'm gonna do something fun. So we're gonna glue this down. And this is Nuvo glue, if I haven't told you that yet. Nuvo glue is my favorite glue. Now we may need to stick this for a hot minute because it's a little bumpy. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do this while we wait. So look, I bought this label maker. So we're gonna say, B, E, E, space, B, R, A, halfway around, no matter which way I go, B, E, and then cut it off. I... Got the idea for the label maker from Tim Holtz. He's been selling those little label maker things in his sets where he gives you some words or 
he calls them label tapes or something like that. And I kept wanting to buy them, but then I don't like half of the words and I don't like to waste money. So I went to the Amazon to find out how much one of those label makers would be. And it was like $15, which is crazy pants. So I bought my own and now I don't have to buy any more, just some tape. And the tape's pretty cheap too. Okay. So we're gonna put that on there. We're gonna put a little piece of this pink. Too much. So I need to pull a little bit of this off. Yep, that's just what I want. This is exciting. My very first label, Dymo label word. Okay, put that on there. And then you just peel this. I've got it, I've just got so much glue on my fingers that it keeps gluing it back on. And then we're gonna say, be brave. Look at how cute. Look, I got tape, I got glue on it. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry. I'll show you this at the end. Okay, whoo, we're knocking them down. We got two done, we got two more to go. Yay, us. And I love, I don't know if you've noticed, but I use these little bags to keep each kind of little part of the project together. And I just recycle them. I use them over and over and over again. And it's a really great way to keep, like when you're putting stuff together, it's a good way to keep your stuff together so so you don't wind up with um like i was having a really hard time earlier in my career with keeping all my stuff together oh this is the flip out page so this is like three pages in one that's what oh my gosh that's my favorite bumble i know i've said that five times don't judge me i like bumblebees all right so we got a little piece of this we got, oh, we don't have any background on this one. How did that happen? All right, well, we got a background on there. So I feel like, all right, let's see what we have. So I want the black to stay black for this guy, right? So he can blend in, but maybe some around the top. I don't necessarily want those words. I like these two guys very much. I like this. I like that we got lots of black stuff. <gasps> do we make this one lots of black stuff? I think we do that. Okay. But I want some gold too. This is fun. And I think I'm gonna use gold paint to do this instead of embossing because gold paint, like gold embossing, makes everything better. Oh, this is my very fancy paintbrush. Okay. So I'm just going to go around this edge, not being super careful, just to get us something going on this edge. That'll help blend in our tape, too. And then maybe we'll do some gold embossing later, because I'm not really worried about the backdrop right now. So we haven't done, like, paint or anything on here except for this little border so i feel like we're going to have an opportunity later to add some more gold there we go just a little hint a little hint ski okay i'm gonna uh, i don't want to leave that brush out anytime i say i'll leave that brush out for a minute then i wind up coming back and my brush is all dried out because i am not a responsible person that way Okay, so we got fun black things. We've got an eight. We've got this that is my main piece for right here. We've got this that is my second main piece. Okay, I kind of like what this is doing. But then that bumble's got to go up a little bit. Maybe then we trade which bumble goes up and which goes down because I don't want to lose their 
with our bumbleness. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to do that same gold embossing with this on here. So that'll help bridge those pages, but it will help this page look better and not like, oh, I just didn't bother to paint the back. And I'll probably have more gold on here in top layers, right? But this just gets us started with a little bit of a background. When I lose my mouse from my um, computer, Remind me it's on my craft table. Oakily doakily. So we got that gold moving around a little bit. I want to use this somewhere because I kind of love this. Okay, we're going to come and we're going to tear this down this way like thus. We're going to put this right on here. That's a little warm. Oops right up in there and the nice thing about picking um stuff for your collages or your mixed media um i just picked that stuff one day when i didn't have anything else to do i think i was waiting to jump on a conference call or something and the nice thing about that is first off i i didn't have time to actually do art but i got something already done and then like today when I am feeling a little bit more creative and ready to make some videos, I don't have to like figure out where I was at. I just grab the stuff I have already pulled out and stick it, you know, then I can be creative rather than trying to be, um, you know, figure stuff out. Okay, I feel like this is already looking prettier like this. We had this guy down here. I don't want them all to be separate because then I call that orphans when they're all... <gasps> I want a... I have a stamp set that I just bought that's this that I can put a number on here in a color and make it look like it's real. I'm super excited. This is the uh, Field Notes stamp set, and thus far I have been thrilled, thrilled with it. Okay. Well, I lost my head there for a second. Okay, I need a dark blue, so I'm going to use faded jeans. I got too excited for a minute. Do I want blue? I kind of want yellow or a color that I already have in here. Ooh, I could do bluish black. Where'd the black go? There's black. So I'll do blue and then I'll tinge it with black. Okay. Oh, nice. That turned out cute. That's exactly what I wanted. That never happens. Okay, and now we're gonna grab a different. Ooh, there's a there's a McGregor one. McGuire. That's my father-in-law's name. And we're going to get yellow. And we're going to act like he stamped that. Isn't that fun? It's just little extra layers of stuff that you add that make it seem cool. All right, we're going to glue these two together where their circles match. There we go. They're a two for now. Let's not glue them down right there in case that's not where we want them. All right. Well, that was exciting. Do we want these to be tags? I don't think I want them to be real tags. Let's go ahead and grunge them up. I have a lot of tags. I have a lot of gizmos already in this book, and we just did a couple of, you know, ones that need ribbons. Everything doesn't have to be a gizmo, right? And this is going to kind of go over here, okay, just kind of on this corner. Oh, I kind of love this tag, this, or this page. This is 
This is sort of my jam. This is black and bees and grungy and I like it. All right, I do have to rough this up just a little bit. Otherwise, it will look beautiful and perfect and everything else looks like it's been down eight miles of hard road, right? <sighs> I really like how this is turning out. All right. I'm going to pause you for a minute because I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a little bit more of this uh, scripty in the gold just to bring it up to this layer, but I have to wait for the glue to dry a minute at least. Oakley Doakley, let's finish this one up real quick. We're doing really good today. I'm feeling creative. Some days you can do this all day and you're you get nothing and oh something smeared. That's great. Okay, and then maybe just a smudge up there. Look, that must have been wet when I touched it, and we got a little smear. If you are worrying about any of that stuff on your design don't worry about it because you see it because you know everything how it's supposed to be but anybody who's looking at your stuff has no idea how it's supposed to be and so they're fine with it oh my gosh how funny is that that circle stamp ink hadn't dried yet and a little bit of this one and so the embossing powder, I can't get archival ink to work with my embossing powder unless it's an accident. So I love this page. This is my favorite so far today. All right, so let me grab the ones we did today so you can see them. Amazing, love this one. This one's really pretty. Like in real life, it's just a pretty, pretty page. I like that. We have one more. This one. You can't tell me that gold doesn't make everything nicer. So those are the three B pages we made for the black journal today. Look how fun this is. All right, hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.